Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The world can be a very scary place. Villains can be larger than life. And almost impossible to defeat. The stress of saving the world can turn even the best of friends against each other. And not everyone will be on your side. Some will try to take advantage of your kindness. But a true hero will know exactly what to do. And will inspire others to do the same. The scariest thing of all, even for the bravest hero, is discovering the villain is much closer than you think. is this? Uh, where's my stuff? The gauntlet! Uh, I guess it's Jax now. Gotta get back, find the admin, find my friends. The guest will kindly follow the orange line in the floor to the check-in zone. The guest will kindly follow the orange line in the floor to the check-in zone. Ahem. Ahem. Throat clearing sound. The guest will kindly follow the orange line and floor to the check in zone. Yeah, I heard you. just here to make sure all guests behave themselves. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, yes, Jesse. Welcome to the Sunshine Institute. It's a reformatory for people the admin has found difficult. I'll be your warden. So the admin created this nut hut too, huh? Of course. The admin is an endless source of building brilliance. Including this beautiful behavioral adjustment retreat center. So it's a prison. Hey, no, no, we don't use the P word here. But it is a prison. Let's not challenge authority. The admin doesn't let us use that word, so we don't use that word. Understand? Y you know he's not here right now, right? You never know. What about my friends? I need to get back. The admin put his gauntlet on one of them. Who knows what he's making them do? He gave them the gauntlet? Oh, man, lucky them. That means they're the admin's favorite. <laughs> How great would that be? I bet your friend is living it up. Enjoying the high life right by the admin's side. <laughs> 
Yeah, you have zero idea what you're saying. Mind that attitude, Jesse. And if your friends are anything like you, they'll be making their journey to Betterment right next to you, I'm sure. Now hang on a tick. I have a another guest on my manifest. Female, hothead. Favorite weapon? Sword. Favorite tool? Sword. Favorite food? Sword? You gotta distract him. Petra, that's definitely Petra. Jesse! Oh man, I am so happy I found you. This freaking place. I know, let's get out of here. Wait, you can't, it's too dangerous. Stop them, associates! Feeling shouty? Shouty, punchy, butt kicky, freaking admin. He tricked us. He tricked me. Oh, it just makes me want to scream again. Ah! Well, I know one thing. I'm glad you're here with me. You're glad, and I'm mad. It's a combo I can work with. And the admin has Jack. Uh, it never ends with that guy. <sighs> Looks like we're trapped. Not gonna lie to you, Jesse. Not sure how we're gonna get out of this one. Hey, stop the alarm! We'll never make it through like this. Then we run! Where? Wherever they aren't. Stop them! Don't let them reach the burrows! where we are. What is that? right about now. Yeah, maybe not this way. No! Oh, what are those things? A spider? A creeper? Hmm. Must be the admin creating his version of what a monster should look like. Of course, why would there be only one? Never just one. Oh no, oh no, oh no!
apprehended in an escape attempt. <sighs> that is just... That is just rude. Take this one to the mushroom. And bring that one to my office. Now. Close the door, would you? Do as you're told. Uh, sure. Obedient. Good. You and your band of misfits may have hope yet. Band of misfits? Oh. Let me show you. Radar! Nerm! You see, here at the Sunshine Institute, there are two types of guests. People who make the admin extra angry, such as yourself, and your punch-happy friend down there. And there are people who the admin sends to make sure the first group will be, uh, well-behaved. Your friend, with the glasses, is surprisingly feisty for such a skinny guy. So long as you don't hurt my friends, I'll be as well behaved as you want. Oh, good. Good. Show me. Bring up Jesse's leverage, would you? Skinny guy, glasses. Funny story. When I first got here, I was actually part of the second group. We were just a crazy couple of griefers. Simpler times. No, 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 no! This place is filthy! Ah, uh, so disorganized! Ah, making me crazy! Jesse! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay! I was so. I was so worried! I'm glad I'm okay. I'm just relieved that you're okay. Oh, huh? You were worried about me? Meet. The Iron Breath Taker. Iron bars to hold the victim in place below. Sticky piston above to shove an iron block down over their head. <gasps> Gulp! <laughs> now, I said before that you could follow in my footsteps. That could start now. Go on and show me how well behaved you are. Join the good guys. Work for me as an associate and help bring order to these poor, chaotic individuals. Don't do it, Jesse! <laughs> What's it gonna be? Okay, I'll do it, just stop! Oh, that's so great to hear. Hi, <sighs> that was so dark. <sighs> easy, easy there. Radar, was it? You just had quite the harrowing experience. But don't worry, our newest guard, er, associate, will be walking you out. Jesse, no. I don't know how much more of this I can take. <laughs> don't look at me like that. I did this for you, Radar. I'm trying to protect you. But, no. Well, well, well. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Stella, what are. How. Well, I appreciate you letting me out of that ice. I can't let that disrupt the new professional relationship we have now, okay? I'm sure you understand. I knew a day of reckoning would come for my rival.
Oh, you two know each other? <laughs> oh, yes. Our bitter rivalry goes way back. Yeah, this place really suits you, Stella. It's cruel, uncomfortable, and nobody likes it. Oh, you're letting your jealousy get the better of you, Jesse. Pity. Watch out for this one, Warden. Jesse plus anything equals trouble. Now come on, Jesse. No one wants a sour rival. Be like me. I'm a shining example of success. I've barely arrived and I'm already bossing you around. <laughs> Isn't it grand? Let's go, Randall. It's Radar! Uh, that's what I said. <sighs> Stella's right. Commitment and loyalty to the admin's cause are cornerstones around here. The more friends stick together, the harder they make it for each other. So maybe readjust your concerns. There are bigger silver fish to fry than... than... friends. <sighs> I realize you're not gonna stop trying to protect your friend. Once upon a time, I wouldn't have blamed you for that. But that was a long time ago. What are you hiding, Warden? Not every prisoner here wears orange, Jesse. Let's go, rival! That's right! Go along, Jesse, to the mushroom! Exactly what I was going to suggest. I'll have your job before you know it, Warden. Be careful what you wish for, Stella. Show him around, would ya? Thanks. Excuse me? <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? We don't have a problem, do we? I need a moment to process. Maybe several moments. Ta-ta, Jesse! I'll be at my post supervising a more impressive cell block. Don't be too jealous. Or do. I wouldn't blame you. Okay, Radar? Wish I was. I need something to eat. Get my strength back. <laughs> You're in the right place. Guests make mushroom stew here. Guess I just need some mushrooms then. There's one! Mushroom! gonna starve. Waste away. Poof. No more radar. You're right. I should stay quiet. Conserve my energy. Hey there, guard friend. You just caught me putting a happy little finishing touches on my happy little painting here. What, uh, what you painting? I'd so love to paint a happy little mushroom, but none ever stick around long enough for me to paint. I know that you guards don't usually help little old me, but could you build me a happy little mushroom to paint? Here's some wonderful dirt for you to use. If it's not too much trouble after all. Hmm. That is just... that is just lovely. Thank you ever, ever so much. Please, you must share your thoughts on my work so far. Don't you hold back now. Honesty's the best policy. Oh my gosh, it's great. It's... 
The, uh, chiaroscuro is just impeccable, truly. So happy you like it. And now, I like you. You'll be spared when the bad thoughts come. Look, I have something important to ask. Go ahead. Any idea how to get some food around here? You want some food, huh? Well, associates talk to associates, so go ask Anthony. He'll know. see you in one piece. It... that was... Um, so... Aw, oh, sounds to me like you were scared, Petra. Well, yeah, of course I was, you dummy. I... after what happened? Watching Jack lose Voss all over again, just to get taken away? It was horrible. I... I'm gonna get us out of here, Petra. We will stop the admin. Yeah... Yeah, I know you will. You might want to get Radar some food. He doesn't look so good. Yeah, I'm working on it. Thanks for looking out. Hang tight for now. I'll be back. Hey. to be a cooperative champion. Wait, what? Is that the admin? You are all here to be reminded of your potential. It's a recording? Come on. And I hope you'll see it in yourself, as I do. Because if you don't, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, eh? In the meantime, demonstrate your cooperative potential, and you just may become the ultimate Champion! So fighting over a tiny handful of mushrooms is the only way they can eat? Mm, mm, yep. Mm, mm, mm. That cookie Hello, looks good, dude. I know, right? Wait, did you eat all yours already? What? Uh, how do you get them? <sighs> okay, look. I thought you knew. The guards have a delicate supply of ingredients, none of which are approved by the warden. These cocoa beans. I don't have any wheat for you, but I can tell you who does. That pal of gruesome can set you up with the wheat. Okay, that guy is one tough-looking customer. I do not want to deal with him. Look, Jesse, it's simple. You're an associate, he's a guest. You call the shots around here, not him. Hello, guests and associates. Admin here, reminding you that despite being so close to finding a suitable champion, the spot remains open to all. Especially any wannabe adventurers whose names might rhyme with Nessie. Just throwing that out there. Good day! So, uh, I hear you might have some wheat? I need two of them. I don't know who you've been talking to, but it ain't true. 
Wheat is considered contraband in this facility, and I am nothing if not a stickler for the rules. Come on, Oxblood, help me out. My friend needs the food. He's starving. Like everybody else isn't. Uh, you better remember this. I want special treatment from now on. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come here. Wheat and cocoa beans. All yours, Jesse. No way! I've been down here for too long. I can't stand another second! Whoa! Nothing personal. I'm just mega, mega hungry. Ah, give me that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just so hungry. Uh, <clears throat> hello? What's going on in here? Jesse. I expect far better from my associates than this. Because if you don't, one cookie's not that big of a deal. One cookie's not that big of a deal. And just who does this contraband belong to? Hmm? <laughs> you all know that weapons are strictly forbidden at the Sunshine Institute. So who does this belong to? You might as well just come out and tell me. It'll be so much easier for everyone. Sure, if you'd call a wooden sword a weapon. Hey, do you know how hard it was to steal all that wood? I mean, uh, oops. All weapons are forbidden, no matter how arguably useless they are. You know that misbehavior means getting sent down a level. And that means... No! Not the zombie mines! Not the zombie mines! Yes. Perhaps a little time harvesting rotten flesh will teach you something. Take him away. Well done, associate. You've successfully apprehended your first contraband. Keep up the good work. At least now I can make a cookie for radar. Well, it's not much, but hopefully it'll help Radar get his strength back. Here, eat this. Get your strength back. Thanks, Jesse. I really appreciate... Uh, yeah, sure, thanks, whatever. Interesting attitude there, buddy. I'm gonna have to really step it up. I mean, this is prison. So from now on... I'm Prison Radar. I'm gonna get my own mushrooms. Make my own stew. Disregard my bedtime. Um, whatever, bro. Yeah. I mean, uh... Whatever. Psst. Now, get out of here, guard. It's time for Prison Radar to show this world what he's made of. That's right. Come at me, dude. What's going Prisoner on? Prisoner X has escaped. I repeat, Prisoner X has escaped. All guests, please report to the nearest lounge. I think they mean cell? Yep, you should get in one too. You haven't had your Protocol X training yet. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Prisoner X? Yeah, apparently she's this infamous prisoner who they have to keep locked up super tight. Always escaping. They say she even knows her way through that maze. Apparently, she's locked up way deep in the prison. So deep that some people have never even seen the level they keep her on. I know, I know, I thought it sounded crazy too, but I've checked the facts and it all seems legit. We should find where this prisoner X is being held. But where is she exactly? 
According to NERM's sources, Prisoner X is locked up in the deepest, darkest level of the Sunshine Institute. Cell Block X. Uh, detecting a theme with the names. Yeah, they're big on that X thing. We need to get to Cell Block X. Way I heard it, you can't just get into Cell Block X. But it sounds like the zombie mines are right next door. If we can go down to the mines, maybe we can find this Zara person. Well, you're doing this whole associate thing, right? Maybe you can get the warden to, like, promote you. Might be worth a shot, even if the warden is kind of a dork. Okay, it's a plan. You stay here and rest up. I'm gonna find a way to get us to cell block X. Roger that, Jesse. But how to get promoted? That Oxblood guy sure looks suspicious. If I can catch him doing something against the rules, maybe I can get promoted. Nice! Now we're on to something. Now the question is, what do they do? Ah. Let's see what I can do with this. I think there's another room back there. Okay, time to see what tall, red, and gruesome is hiding. Those blocks. Got it. it. Looks like the buttons move the blocks. So that button moves that block. I did it! Yes! Now, if only someone had been around to see me being this impressive. Hmm. Uh, a mushroom? What the heck are you doing here? Sounded me like I could ask you the same question. Yeah. Mind explaining what you're doing in my most private of spaces? Visitors ain't welcome, and you are most definitely a visitor. Just looking for Cell Block X, big guy. Well, it ain't here, short stack. If you hadn't noticed, you left the hole open. Get out of my cell before you regret getting in it. Did I hear mooing? Oh, come on! Excellent work, new associate. You see, this is how you get promoted. Work your way up. But first, to maintain order. This creature cannot be allowed to undo the balance of the mushroom. Shear it, uh, would you, Jesse? But then it'll be... An ordinary cow, yes. You know, bringing back the balance of the mushroom. Thought that was obvious. What? No! Don't do it, Jesse. Not liking your hesitation here, Jesse. You can't. You won't. You do want to be promoted, don't you? <laughs> I'm begging you. Refusing, are we? Yeah. Very well. Take it away. No! Not my Jeffy Poo! <laughs> I trusted you, Jesse. You are no longer an associate. You've been demoted to guest. And as a consequence for your actions, 
dig it up. What the heck are you doing? Teaching you a lesson, Jesse. No more mycelium. Don't starve! You and your friends will be relocated to the lower levels. The zombie mines. Well, isn't this a treat? My rambunctious rival is now my poor prisoner. Get moving. Well, we needed to go to the lower levels anyway. Let's hope they're survivable. Welcome to the zombie mines, Jesse. <laughs> oh, just when you think you've seen it all, what exactly is this place? Every few minutes, a million gross zombies spawn. The equally gross prisoners dispatch them and collect the zombie flesh, which is... It gross, I, I get it, but why? Don't know, don't care. Do your job. Zombies won't fight themselves, so get to fighting. You never thought to question the admin? You don't question greatness, and he is the greatest. For now, at least. You brought this on yourself, Jesse. I don't get it. You could have just joined the admin and never had to suffer a second. Instead, you chose to throw it all in the lava pit. I think all of those people cheering for you 24-7 have made you delusional. I was trying to get out of here. I thought this might work. There is no way out of here. Get used to that. I'll give you one piece of advice. Just one. Try not to cause any more trouble. If you do, you'll get sent to Maximum. With her. Who's in there? You must have heard those alarms earlier. That was Prisoner X. She tried to escape, but they got her back. And she... she scares me. You don't want to end up in there. So, play nice. Come along, Luna. What was that about? Sounds like that vent is our way to Prisoner X. bother trying to get in. See those item frames? Only the admin and the warden have the right items. And they could be anything. Besides, why would you want into Prisoner X's cell? That's just bonkers. Yeah, what dummy would want that, huh? Yeah, Prisoner X hates everyone. Even other guests like yourself. Don't even think about going in. Gotta be another way to open this door. Hey, what is this? Oh, the big guy, Oxblood. He's down for a while and headbutted the wall. Not sure why, but man, he has a hard head. We just haven't fixed it yet. There's redstone behind the wall. So this redstone looks like it powers the door. If I can bypass it, then it'll open. Hey guys, over here. Find. We need to find something to bypass a redstone circuit and get this door open. This will lead us to Prisoner X. She can help us get out of here for good. Hey, Jesse, stop loafing around. You know, we do know someone who came from the outside who might have all her inventory. Ah, oh, Stella. You know, Jesse, guests and associates really shouldn't be mingling. Yeah, about that, I, uh, 
need your help. I need to make a lever. Pronto. Why exactly? Not that I, you know, really care. You'd never know when you need a lever. That's what I always say. A lever? In a prison reformatory? <laughs> really, Jesse? Not helping you here. No, not risking angering the admin. I had to really prove myself to get this gig as it is. But he's why you're down here, come on! And he is who will help lift me back out again once I finish helping him run this horrible, smelly mud pit. Maybe you make some good points, but not enough of them. I have a place here. Respect. Uh, you know, a power and the, yeah, the works. It's actually very prestigious. Yeah, but what about Champion City? You're gonna abandon them? <laughs> Absolutely not. They'll be fine. They will be just... Oh, yeah, who am I kidding? I have done so much for them in the past, I mean, they can barely make bread without me supervising. Okay, look, maybe this isn't my dream destination. This place is horrible, and I am worried I will never get the smell out of my hair. Here's the cobblestone and stick. But you need to get me out of here. I know we've had our issues, but I also know that you're a hero or whatever. Uh, sure, Stella, we'd be happy to have you. If you're happy, I'm happy. No matter how many worlds I see, it always seems to come back to levers. Let's do this. Zombie wave incoming! Prepare yourself! surprised. Admin? It's not enough that you disregarded all the rules in my icy palace of doom, tried to upset the delicate order of the Sunshine Institute. Now you're trying to disrupt the therapeutic benefits of my zombie mine? What gives? Pretty sure your fellow inmates were just trying to peacefully live out the rest of their captivities. Well, after you came to Beacon Town and wrecked everything, it seemed like the least I could do. It's terribly rude, is what it is! <laughs> Edmund! Sir! I'm very disappointed in you, Warden. I I'm ju I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just a nervous eater. I'm sorry. Ugh, no, not that. I'm disappointed that you couldn't keep Jesse in line for one measly day! I was just trying to do my job, and now I'm in trouble because of you! This job isn't easy to begin with. 
Yeah, sorry about that, Warden, but you kind of work for a terrible person. He doesn't deserve an apology, Jesse. Oh, for the love of... Enough! How truly you disappoint me! And that goes for you, and you, and you, and especially you. And as for you... I've been looking for an opportunity for you to prove your loyalty. To prove your worth as my champion. So, unless you want to be added to my naughty list, I suggest you pull out your sword and attack Jesse. And as for you, Jesse, well, don't think I don't believe in fair play. <laughs> now we'll have some real fun. No! I had such high hopes for you, Jesse. The highest of hopes. You're gonna be. This isn't happening! <sighs> Ow! Jack! Mouth shut, ears open. We only have one chance here. I'm gonna head over to the admin and we'll both attack him. Trust me, friend. You're joking, right? That's your big idea. Swords can't hurt me. Uh-oh. Oh, all I asked you to do is fight your friend to the death, and you can't even do that. I don't even want you to be my friend anymore. And I don't want you to be my friend either. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, this whole place can burn to the ground. What about... Prisoner X, what about all of us? The Institute remains inescapable. So what do I care? I'm leaving. And I'm never thinking about any of you ever again. So I'll just be my own friend now. Can't dwell on the setbacks. Gotta keep looking forward. Did anyone else think that made him sound really lonely? <sighs> Oh, spare me the pity party. I don't need it. <sighs> I'm gonna have loads of friends soon. After all... Everyone loves Jesse, right? No. <gasps> no way. You coming? Trust me, I take care of Luna for me. Coming, darling admin! Stella is just the beginning. Your other friends will fall in line too. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, all of them. Don't worry, I'll take good care of Beacon Town. <laughs> He's gone. Jesse, we gotta stop him! Jack! Look, I am sorry, everyone. I, I can't... I just... I'm sorry. Uh, shut up with the sorries, you doof. Let's hope Prisoner X is really our ticket out of here. Glad you're okay, Jack. Hmm. 
Yeah, uh, it got a little dicey there for a while, didn't it? I mean, after what happened with not Voss, then I was in the admin's freaky place and, and uh, not in control of what I was I was uh, doing. I was in pain. I I, I I was so scared that you'd all give up on me. Hmm. That's that sounds horrible. Not to uh, be insensitive, but you're okay now, right? Not like under the admin's control. What? What kind of question is that? Look, uh, of course I am. I am. I'm fine. Beacon Town was already worried about you, Jesse. Wondering where you were, wondering if you were okay. I'm sure the admin is heading there right now. Wearing Jesse's mug to boot. It's freaking messed up, yo. It's true. Identity theft is no joke. I don't care about who's wearing my face. I just want to make sure Beacon Town is safe. We made it. Wow. some intense security. Just stick close to Jesse, all right? Mm. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Yeah, you guys go on. Get Prisoner X. Huh. If I wanted to imprison the dreaded Prisoner X, that's where I'd do it. I think that's where we need to go. All we have to do is cross this conduit, reach the platform, jump down, and not die. Mm. Come on, I think we can make that jump. Oh. You're up next, Nurm. Oh. Okay, now you, Loon. Seriously, how do you do that? Last jump! I'm Jesse. You must be Prisoner X. <sighs> Bold of you to come here, not knowing who you're dealing with. I could shove you right into that lava. And you deserve it for being so trusting, so gullible. Just one little push. <laughs> and sizzle, sizzle, sizzle! Do it and you're stuck here. Forever. So this is a rescue attempt? Oh, how heroic. Look. Prisoner X. Zara. You're supposed to know how to get out of here, right? What? Where did you get that idea? Oh. No one's ever escaped the Sunshine Institute. That's why they tossed you in here, right? This place is intense. I don't think they put you down here for crafting illegal flower pots. Yes, it is rather excessive, isn't it? The admin stole my identity and he's running around with my face doing horrible things in my name. I gotta get out of here now. Romeo was here? Just now? Well, um, the admin was, but who's... Romeo. That's his real name. You didn't think admin was his given name, did you? 
He would want you to think that. Of course he would. That's funny. I call him Slimeball, because that's what he is. And a jerk. He has that effect on people. It's true. You must really be something if you made him so mad. He almost never comes down here in person. Except to put the Warden's feet to the fire from time to time. Well, there is no more Warden. The admin fired him. That's fantastic. We won't have any trouble escaping with that little creep out of the picture. So now you want to help Any me? enemy of Romeo is a friend of mine, I always say. Well, I've never technically said that. Oh, so glad you changed your mind. You changed my mind, Jesse. You're obviously a formidable ally. But don't forget, you do need me. I'm the only one who knows the way out. If you know the way, then show me. Let's get out of here. Just one problem. This whole room is rigged to explode if I step one foot out of it. Explode? Take a look around. If someone doesn't stand on at least one of these pressure plates on the floor, these sticky pistons will retract. Lava meets TNT. And then the whole place blows up before you can say kaboom. <laughs> That's a stone pressure plate. That means I can't just use a block. Oh, it's fine. One of your silly companions can stay behind. The rest of us can go. That's the situation. That's the only way out. We're all getting out of here. No one's staying behind. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible, Jesse. One of them is going to have to stay. <laughs> oh, I hate to be a wet slime about all of this, but we have to get moving. I can't just leave them here. Then just leave one of them here. As long as one pressure plate is stood upon, the trap won't spring. So either the villager or the llama must remain behind. Hey. 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 Nurm, no, you can't do that. Hey. Oh, come on. We seriously don't have time for this. I'm leaving. If you're interested in escaping the Sunshine Institute alive, I suggest you do the same. This nerm? Hmm. Stella did ask me to look after her. Come on, Luna. We gotta go. Hmm. Oh. You're a real hero, Nurm. I'll never forget this. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. How did you... My straitjacket? Oh, that was the easy part. If you're done with your tearful goodbyes, we have a prison to escape from. Prisoner X, I presume? Yeah, guys, this is Zara. Zara, the guys. Hello. Where, uh, where's Nerm? Oh, your villager friend offered to take my place so my cell's booby traps wouldn't go off. <gasps> what? No. He... he did that? And you let him? Stella asked me to keep Luna safe. Well, at least we have a llama, then. <sighs> well, no matter what it takes, no matter how many heads I have to clobber, I will get him back. She better be worth it. Trust me, I'm worth it. Ugh, can we get going, or is the reunion still underway? Yeah, we're going, we're going. Come on. have escaped their lounges! The warden's been fired! 
<laughs> Zombie meat is back on the menu. When I find that warden, I'm going to make him pay for what he put me through. Yipes. Wouldn't want to be the warden right now. Every prisoner in this place wants to tear him to pieces. He better watch his back. I'm worried about the guy. Whatever happens won't be pretty. Well, beauty is subjective, but... Yeah. Not gonna be nice. <laughs> Let's see if they left us any weapons. Weapons! Sweet, sweet weapons! Take the enchanted iron sword, or the diamond sword with no enchantment. The diamond sword will last longer, but the iron sword is enchanted with sharpness. Not bad, hmm. Okay, definitely feeling better with the sword in my hand again. Agreed. Versatile. I don't know much about llama fashion, but that's a good look, Luna. Looking good, gang. Now let's. G E O F F. That spells my best friend. <laughs> Love you, Jeffy. Friends reunited. It's a prison miracle. No. I guess Jesse does seem like good people. Oh, jeez. They're holding us up. Uh. Move along. Now. Prisoner X. Oh, jeez. I don't want no trouble. I'm out of here. Come along, Jeffy. That was frighteningly effective. Well, now that that's over with, can we get moving now, please? should be just around this corner. We have a situation here. Back! Back! All of you! One more step and it's Kaboomsville! Jesse! Warden, what's going on here? Hey! You're one of us! Help us beat up the Warden! It'll be a good team building exercise! Plus, we beat up the Warden! Win-win! Well, dip my bristles. Look who it is. It's my happy little friend who took a look at my happy little baby. Jesse, you freed Prisoner X? Just when I thought you couldn't ruin my life anymore! What in the world were you thinking? Holy crud! It's Prisoner X! I think you've clearly lost your mind. She is bad news. Actually, no, she is Way worse than bad news! Sorry, Warden. Zara and I made a deal. Did you know she was once an admin, too? The admin had to take her powers away! She tried to destroy him! I promised the admin I'd never let her free, no matter what! And I'll keep that promise. Even if I need to blow us all up to do it! <sighs> Why are you all staring at me? It's making me uncomfortable. How crazy was that, huh? That guy was ready to blow us all up. Good thing I was here to save the day. We want answers, Zara. Uh, fine. Yes, I was an admin. Ages ago, Romeo took my admin powers away from me just before he banished me to this pitiful prison. But I'm not the villain here. Romeo and his little warden were the ones who put you down here, not me. So glare in another direction. I'm innocent. You're just another victim of the admin. 
just like the rest of us. And there will be a lot more victims if he isn't stopped. Soon. Don't believe a word she says, Jesse. She'll say whatever she can to get in your good graces. Wait, so an admin can be stripped of their powers? Ugh, it's not simple, but yes. So what do we... We don't have time for this. It won't be long before Romeo finds out what's happened down here. Yeah, I guess we should keep moving. Follow me. I don't know if I can go with her, Jesse. I don't trust her. Petra, you haven't seen what the admin is capable of. We need any help we can find. Really? Her? I don't exactly have another ex-admin in my inventory, Petra. Jack's right. We need Zara's help. It's the only way. I just hope you're right. Don't forget that she used to be an admin, too. Romeo did always love creating new nightmares at every opportunity. Ah, run! Yep. Get ahead of you. What's with these monsters? They're all glowing! They're pretty scary looking, Jesse. Let's be scarier. Just let me think! Oh, come on, she didn't get lost on purpose! No, I didn't. Thanks, Jesse. Wait, we can just build to the top of the wall and get to the other side that way! Yeah! Sounds good to me.
what do you know? There it is. Hey, wait, where are you going? She ditched us! my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, there it is, guys. Our ticket out of here. That is sparkly. The sparkliest. Is that... Diamond? <laughs> Where is everyone? That maniac is gonna get herself killed. Would that be such a bad thing? We should lend her a hand, shouldn't we? Maybe we should just go. We're not abandoning her. I told her I'd help her escape. It's time to prove it. We can't just leave her, come on! Ugh, I can't believe we're risking our lives for another admin. Zara, come on! You came back. I said I'd get you out, didn't I? Now show us the way. I know you didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Let's go. I'm not a very trusting person. Romeo betrayed me. I have trouble getting along with others. I'm not much of a people person anymore. You're welcome, Zara. I would do it again. It was the right thing to do. There's something else you should know. 
There was a third admin named Fred. Where is he? Dead. He and I fought Romeo for control of the world. We lost. the rest of it yeah how are we supposed to escape this doesn't even go up that far that's because we're not going up we're going down down there is no down we're standing on bedrock you can't go any lower you might think so but that's where we need to go below the bedrock everybody knows there's nothing under the bedrock except nothing and also certain death i really do want to believe you then believe me I'd rather take my chances in the maze than listen to any more of her lines. Any of you are welcome to join me. That's crazy talk, all those monsters. I don't care. She's an admin. An admin killed Voss, then stole his identity, and then... Remember I told you he took my admin powers away? Well, down there lies the secret to taking Romeo's powers from him forever. Fred, the third admin, discovered it. Jesse, help me dig through this tower. See? I told you. These stairs lead to our salvation. Now there's a good reason to get a move on.
can't let anyone run around disguised as me or my friends. The amount of chaos they could cause is, well, it's unthinkable. That's why I summoned you. Track them down. Make sure they're behaving themselves. <coughs> Man, oh jeez. Run, 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 Jesse. As fast as you can. 